welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to have a look at a link between Cyprus and Google. So what do I mean by that? Well, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, there is in Chrome something called the Chrome Recorder. How do you open it? Well, you open the developer tools and you should have a recorder tab here. If you do not have that, no worries. You just open the context menu, you do more tools, and then you go to Recorder. Now, why is this important and how does this link to Cyprus? Until recently, whenever you did a recording, so let's do like Cyprus test and start recording. So we would come here and we would start to uh, do some test, test, whatever enter some phone uh, YouTube video or if I could spell video correctly and then you would do something like submit oh, the phone must be a little longer no problem so you would now have in your recorder just to end recording here you would now have in your recorder your test and you could replay it and you could replay this in the browser or you have the option to export it now as you can see you can export it to json puppeteer and that's about it but there is a but if you go to extensions then you do have at the moment cypress extension so let's try and add that one And then let's see how the export looks right now. So we go to export and we have Cypress test. Let's click it. You select this uh, place on your machine when you want to uh, export it. And in my case, you have a warning. Just click save. And once you save that, just open it and or load it into your IDE where you already have Cypress installed. And it looks something like this. Yeah, it's trivial. Uh, it needs, it's rough. It needs a lot of work. But in case you like the Chrome Recorder and you like Cypress, this is a way of how you can actually do your recording Chrome, then export to Cypress. Let's see if it works actually. So I loaded all my tests, and as you can see, our recorded test is is not here. And the reason for that is that it doesn't have. Uh, the extension or the pattern that matches my test. So let's just change that. So I do just to rename and we do ci dot one ci one dot here, one ci there, and it would also be good to remove the, the space, but we'll leave it for another time. So now if we open the uh, overview of our test, we have now the Cypress test. And if we click it, we should see that our test is running. So far so good. It seems we have some issues with the email address, but we can just amend the script and have our test. So there you have it. This was how you could, you can link Cypress with Chrome, or better said, with the Chrome Recorder. By the way, if you do not like the method of using the Chrome Recorder, I have a video about the uh, built-in Cypress Recorder. As always, thank you for watching the video. Have a good one and bye bye.